Hello friends, this video on S block elements part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's talk about the chemical properties. We have talked enough about the physical properties of the alkali metals in the trends. Let's talk about the chemical properties trends in the alkali metal. The first thing is the alkali metals are very very reactive. Why? Because they have very low first ionization energy and they have large size as compared to other uh, elements in the periodic table. If you see as I told the size increase this way if you move across a period. So this is halogens and this is my alkali metals. Right? So they have low large size that is one reason for it to be more active as I told the larger the size the lesser is the control of nucleus on the electron and the electron can jump out easily. So they have large size the electron is more reactive and they have low ionization energy because they have only one electron in the outermost cell and they want to uh, get rid of the electron to attain the stability. So both the factors make them very very active very very reactive right. The, the low ionization energy because the one electron in the outermost cell and the high the large size of the atoms and because of this they are very very reactive. So the compounds of the alkali metals they are generally colorless and diamagnetic. So in these trends we will learn about the reaction with hydrogen how it reacts with hydrogen. Oxides and hydroxide reaction reaction with water with halogens some reducing properties of uh, alkali metals because I know alkali metals can easily oxidize right. So if they can easily oxidize that means they have a good reducing properties they can reduce other, other people other elements actually. Uh, its reaction in solution of liquid ammonia, its reaction with sulfur and phosphorus, reaction with mercury and complex compounds. So we will talk about all these in the chemical properties trend. We will talk about uh, how it reacts with hydrogen, hydroxide, water, halogens and sulfur, phosphorus, all those stuff. So let's start with reaction with dihydrogen. So the trend is generally metal alkali metal actually are right here when it reacts with dry hydrogen gas and you heat this at 673 Kelvin generally what you get is crystallized hydride this is what you get mm -hmm. correct this is the general tendency now we'll see the same thing so the alkali metals when react with dihydrogen 673 Kelvin it from crystalline hydride. All the alkali hydrides are ionic solids. Since they are ionic, they have high melting and boiling point. Why? Right? Because the force of attraction between the atoms are very, very strong ionic solids, right? Because it's very strong. Ionic have more, uh, stronger force of attraction. So we don't understand this. Watch a video on one of the chapter where we discuss about all the force of attraction, intramolecular and intramolecular force of attractions. There we have discussed why ionic solids have high melting point. Right? So if I have a metal reacts with hydrogen, it gets hydrides, metal hydrides. Correct? And these hydrides, the stability of these hydrides decreases as we go down the group. And these hydrides react with water to form hydroxides and they are strong reducing agent. And this, the reducing nature also increases down the group. Now let's discuss why the stability of the hydrides decreases down the group. So if you see any metal hydrides, it is MH, right? Hydrogen I know is small in size. And if this metal is also small in size, the stability is more. Right, stable more. This metal is very big, hydrogen is small. What will happen? Less stable. Hope you understand this. See if two compatible people are there, right? So they are stable. So here, metal hydride, if the size of the metal and the hydrogen are almost same, they are more stable. If the metal is very big, the stability is less. Similarly, if you see, if you go down the groove, the size of the atoms increase. So this is something which we have discussed. Right? So if you go down the groove, this metal size increase. So the hydrides stability decrease. Correct? So maybe if I draw the same, this is lithium hydride, almost same size, sodium hydride, and if you draw potassium hydride, right? So if you see, 
the size of this increase since the size is increasing the stability is decreasing correct the next trend which we can discuss is the reducing nature is increasing as we go down the curve so what i told reducing nature is nothing but ability to oxidize itself so if you see if we talk about lithium to lithium plus then sodium to sodium plus or potassium to potassium plus let's discuss this three so you see in lithium the size is all is linked to side action this is the size bigger size this is bigger size so in lithium to become lithium plus it has to lose one electron but it will not be able to lose the electron easily why because this electron is very much tied to this nucleus so losing electron is difficult for sodium since the distance is a little more losing electron is little more easy for potassium since the distance is all the more this can lose electron all the more easy so this is very very easy to form this is little less this is this is little all the more less easy right so since it can oxidize easily potassium can oxidize very very easily so potassium has higher reducing nature as compared to sodium or lithium hope you understand the difference the stability of hydride depends on the compatibility of the metal and the hydrogen size so since going down the group the size of the metal is increasing the stability is decreasing but when you talk about uh, reducing nature that means getting oxidized itself so there the size of the metal uh, the metal increase the reducing nature increase because the moment you increase the size the electron the control of the nucleus on the valence electron is decreasing and it can easily lose electron let's talk about the reaction with air now let's discuss the chemical property when the alkali react with air the first says that the alkali metals is when react with air the limited air supply it forms oxide actually that's why if you see the alkali metal they tarnish in dry air due to formation of the oxide so all the alkali metals will form oxides in limited air so right here alkali metal plus limited oxygen will gives oxides and these oxides when react with again moisture that is water will form hydroxide we will see the reaction of this but this is with the limited air but when you have excess air when you have if a ox excess oxygen then lithium forms oxides sodium forms peroxide and potassium rubidium and cesium forms superoxide so they behave differently in excess oxygen please note when the oxygen is limited they all form oxides lithium sodium potassium all these form oxide this layer they form and that that uh, helps to that that is nothing but the tarnished uh, feeling but when the oxygen is excess these guys form oxide superoxide and peroxide so lithium forms oxides sodium forms peroxides and potassium rubidium and cesium forms superoxide correct and these oxide superoxide and peroxides these all the, whatever it, it gets formed in the excess oxygen it hydrolyzes with water to form hydroxide for example i'll say i have li2o you react with water hydrolyze means nothing but react with water it forms two li and it gives heat also na2o2 i have sodium peroxide if this reacts with water it forms two na here no heat is formed and i have superoxides i have for example potassium superoxide if this reacts with water it will form potassium hydroxide then h2o2 hydrogen peroxide and one oxide and here also heat is not so all these oxides superoxides and peroxide they hydrolyze in water to form hydroxide if you see the hydroxides hydroxides are formed in all the cases correct and this hydroxides are all strong base if we talk about sodium hydroxide lithium hydroxide potassium hydroxide they are all very very strong base and if we talk about the basic character of alkali metal hydroxides i'm talking about the alkali metal hydroxide it increases as we go down the group why because of the decrease in ionization enthalpy so we want to explain let's let's see this let's first write the structure of as i told right for everything write the atomic structure as the first thing to write this is my lithium then i have sodium 
and let it have potassium. Let's, let's take only three. Now, lithium will go and become Li plus, sodium will become Na plus, and K will become K plus, right? More easily. So, this will give also electron more very easily. Now, since the size is increasing, the ionization enthalpy is decreasing because it can easily give electron. The bond strength between this is less because it wants to be in K plus state. It will come out and there will be more OH minus ions. But in case of lithium, Li plus, Li plus, example LiOH, the strength is more actually. Here the strength is less. Why? Because if you see, K plus itself is very stable, right? It's very stable. So it will tie, it will break into K plus and OH minus ion. Easily. In fact, if you see, if I give a KOH, almost 100% it will break into K plus and OH minus, 100%. If I give LiOH, it may break into Li plus and OH minus ion, but maybe let's suppose 50%. Because this guy is not very, uh, what do you call, stable Li plus as compared to K plus, correct? So in that case, what will happen is, since going down the group, K plus is more stable than Na plus and then Li plus, so K plus will be more freely available. Since K plus will be for more freely available in the solution, OH minus also will be for more freely available. That is, QOH will easily break into K plus and OH minus. The more OH minus you have, the more basic is the solution. That's, thus, if you go down the group, the basic character increases. Hope you understand. The more you go down the group, the cations of the metals will be stable. Since they'll be stable, the hydroxides will be will break into cations and OH minus ions, metal cations. This metal cations are stable, so OH minus ions will be more in the solution. More and more OH minus ions, that means more basic is the solution. Correct. Let's talk about. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.